now we will simply head down below in here we will create a square login button so let's go and do that first we will create some hide between the forget password and the login square button so below this line in here you will say size box and we will give the height 10 add the cons modifier to the size box now right down in here we will say material button there we go we will remove that we will just add it in a while put in here comma and tag this down in here now on press event we will leave this empty for now we will work on that later first we will create a design for the login button so in here we will set the color we will go with the colors dot cyan that's fine and we will set the elevation we will set it to 8 and right after we will set the shape okay so in here we will say round rectangle border there we go and in there what we will do we will simply set the border radius and we are gonna make that circular like square and it's gonna be 13 put comma and now right down below in here we will say child and right in the child we will do some padding as usual for that button login and in there we will say padding edge insect we will go with the symmetric and we will set the vertical to 14 and right after we will say child child you will have a raw widget right in there and now we will set some properties first one will be main axis alignment we will set it to center main axis alignment so it's going to be right in the center and then we will say children and right in the children you'll have that tax for that button login so in here we will say login now we will do some styling for that to make it more beautiful so in there tag style as usual in there we will set the color we will go with the colors dot white and right after let's set the font weight it's gonna be bold dot bold that's fine and at the end we will set the size so it's going to be 20 font size put comma and now you will add the const modifier right in here and also right to this text all good now simply press the controllers and see output there we go with the login button it's in a beautiful shape as I tell you now simply whenever the user will click on that login button then we will simply submit the login for example their email and password there will be the authentication for that so now as I tell you right in here right on the on press it's empty for now first we will go right at top and we will create a method so let's go and do that right above the widget build there we go with the widget build and right above in here so we're gonna say void so we're gonna make that method private and we will give the name as a submit form login or let's say on login So this will be async once. So in here async. Now. And basically async function function is a function 
that return the type of a future and we also put await right in front of an asynchronous function we will do that in a while you guys will see just for making the subsequent lines waiting for that future result so right in this method now we will simply say and create a final name this as a is valid so in this you will simply assign the login form key with dot current state null check dot well that so it's gonna assign that to this is valid and if the login is successful then what we will do we will simply check if is valid it is valid then what we will do we will simply add in here add in the sys tag in that semicolon so we will take this down and first we will go right at top and create a bool type is loading so in here we will say bool type and we are going to name this is loading there we go and we are going to set this to false now we will use that let's go back here's a state right in here we will say is loading and we will set this to true if the login is valid then right in the system we set the loading to true and then right after we will simply say it in here try and in try we will simply say of it and first we will create an instance for the firebase auth so right at top we will go and in here we will say final firebase auth there we go we're gonna name this as a auth authentication and in which we will simply create that instance for the firebase auth now we're gonna use that let's go down in here auth dot sign in with the email and password is going to tag that properties first you will remove it and in here semicolon take this down now first it's going to take the email and in here we will say email controller that one that we just created before text controller for the email dot text and we will say train this stream just gonna make the string data without any leading and trial white space and right after that we will set it to a lower case there we go let's find that in here now simply for the password we will say pause text controller dot text dot train so it's gonna authenticate the user with the email and password as you guys can see right in here right after in here we will say navigator dot can pop contacts gonna tag that and then we will say if navigator dot pop this will remove the dialog box and right after that else so in here you will say no now let me explain that so if there will be any kind of dialog box if it's can pop then right in the if you will simply remove that dialog box with the help of navigator dot pop contacts it will remove that or if it didn't happen then write in else as you guys can see we return no so there is going to be nothing there